Hey, what's going on, fellas? Today we're going to be looking into this stuff right here. This is the ITC 100 HT ceramic coating. This is a 5,000 degree refractory coating that is said to increase the temperature of a forge or foundry. So we're going to be putting that to the test today, looking at a little bit of before and after action. All right, Sean, what we're looking at here, brother, is the fat boy. Looks like a little atomic bomb, doesn't it? <laughs> Got some fin legs on there for maximum stability. Right now, we're just kind of testing on just a little bit of propane here, just warming this thing up. Here in a second, I'm gonna stick an airline into this thing, and we're gonna see what you can expect out of your average propane burn. This is just a straight up propane burner itself. You see here, we're hitting 1400 degree type temperatures. And that was 1600 there. So, nothing to write home about. Very mild. There's 1,386 degrees. So, no big deal. We're going to stick an airline in this thing now and uh, see what happens. But before we do that, let's just take a look inside. You can see that it's running so cold that there's a lot of carbon buildup. Not all that big of a deal as heat wise. You can melt aluminum like this, but uh, this just ain't nothing. Slowly heating up over time. This is without any air assist, just a propane torch. So we're gonna take a look at the air assist and see what that does. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of compressed air here. We're not using the Godzilla burner yet because I don't want to burn up a propane tank in no time. Let's here just show you what happens. See how the flame's blowing out the top without the air assist? That's a pretty substantial difference in temperature, what we're gonna see here. So we're gonna let this thing run like this for a while and check the temperature and see what kind of averages we're getting. You see already it's getting hotter than hell right there. But uh, for the most part, look at that. Burn all the carbon off. We're really getting hot now. This is what air assist does when you're using a propane torch. Definitely gives you a lot more heat, but uh, we're not there yet. So what we'll do, fellas, is we'll run this device for a little bit longer at these temperatures. That's pretty much about the max I'm gonna get it at right now. And we're gonna put on the reflective refractory coating, the high reflective coating that's supposed to increase the temperature of a foundry. So we'll go ahead and put that to the test a little bit and see if we do get a higher reflection and hotter temperatures. All right, fellas, we're back up and running and already in about 20 minutes here, we're up to 2,000 degrees. So this stuff is definitely doing something. Definitely kicking off some powerful IR. It's like it's screaming hot. It's so hot that it hurts to be right here. So I'm definitely digging this stuff. Getting much more brighter in the glow. We'll see how it goes from here. I couldn't even withstand that. We got a max temp of 2,220 or 2,284 degrees, and this is without anything special. There you have it, guys. So far, the uh, 100 HT is working out. Okay guys, we just hit 2,440 degrees. And I attribute that to the ITC 100 HT. We were not seeing these temperatures before we applied this. so hot I can't get near it so without anything fancy we're melting steel 
2400 degrees I believe is the steel melting temperature. So if you can imagine what this bad boy is going to do. <laughs> this thing ain't playing around. So there you have it. 2,461 degrees without anything special. And our last test, we never went past 2,300. We never went past 2,200, actually. I'll have to double check the max and the footage. But uh, as far as doing a review on the ITC 100HT, I can vouch for it. Now, what, you're looking at about an hour of heat up here versus 12 hours of heat up before. I think my tank's about out of fuel. Okay, fellas, we're running out of fuel here. Flames going down quite a bit. The tank's empty. Another 15 bucks on the project, but we're all good here. I think this stuff works out excellent. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for all the supplies I bought to build this thing, including the start. So that's pretty much a wrap. This thing is screaming hot. Very happy with the performance of that um, thermal coating because it's also a 5,000 degree refractory. So I I think it's kind of protecting the underlying refractory just a little bit, you would think. Now the outside of this thing is getting hotter than hell. So we're definitely going to want to maybe put some uh, keel wool over it or some type of ceramic insulation. I'm going to see what it can do without going through all that right now because I really don't want to put any more money into this thing and I got a feeling it's going to do the job without it. So we'll see what happens. I think um, this is a great test. I like it. This stuff's pretty incredible. Look at that. Nice blazing hot. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'll turn the lights out for you. There we go. Little light show. Look how the thickness of the ceramic is heated to where the fire brick is and then it stops at the fire brick. You see that? That's pretty cool. The glowing stops at the fire brick that I have impregnated in there. So, we're done. So there you have it, fellas. I gotta share this one with you. This stuff definitely increased the temperature of that foundry. I didn't do anything extra special. Even earlier in the day when I was doing testing, turning up the gas and the air on the propane had little effect on temperature increase. Once you get to a certain point, you're just making a bigger fireball come out the top. Adding this stuff took us from right around 2300 to 2400 degrees. It was very hard to find a 2300 degree spot. Your typical average was more of a 2100 to 2200 degrees. So you could say we achieved a 200 degree temperature increase just by adding this stuff. I used the entire pint. This was $55. And I will leave a link in the description for this stuff because uh, definitely gave us a little bit of a boost and we need all the help we can get where we're going.